I'm going to show you a few quick um, meteorite impressions. Here we have an iron meteorite and it's still got the um, um, uh, crust here, the melting crust. And here we have a palisite, which is a mixed silicate and um, metal alloy meteorite. Here's a really famous Gibeon meteorite from Namibia with beautiful Wiedmannstetten patterns. This was likely the core of a planetesimal or small planet. Here we have a chondrite. This particular one is from Texas in the US. This is amongst the oldest material in the solar system and pretty much similar to the material that makes up our sun. And uh, here we have a beautiful um, metal and iron meteorite from Chile and we have the Wiedmannstetten patterns here as well. They give us a hint about how long the cooling took place and uh, some of these uh, lamellae are more nickel rich, others are less nickel rich and there's also a lot of cobalt in there. And we have troilite here, that's Fe these blobby materials, likely they were melting uh, or were liquid at the time when these materials were exsolving. So very intriguing processes that are recorded in these about the interior of former planetesimals that likely got destroyed and there are now fragments in the asteroid belt. And here's the really famous Hessler meteorite, that's the first recorded fall in Sweden. It's one of the most famous Swedish meteorites and uh, it's got a little bit of a metal phase in there as well. It fell near Uppsala and uh, you might, if you're lucky, still find some pieces out there. And here I've got a very small specimen run, something very, very special. It's a carbonaceous chondrite. It's one of the oldest materials we have. Some of these white specks here are calcium aluminium inclusions. They are amongst the oldest material we know of in the solar system. And this particular one has uh, also carbon up to about four and a half, five percent and this is partly present as organic compounds, amino acids, so there has been speculations whether there was life in these kind of materials or whether this was a way of bringing life to uh, our planet. But of course there's different opinions about this out there.